Okay, so I'm back, and one other thing I forgot to do is I set up the project, but every time you finish something that you don't want to repeat again, it's a good idea to go and hit save, seen as, and we'll call it, do it in my ASCII file, unless it's really, really big. Um, and I'll do lock in PJs, and then I usually do like zero one underscore model. Okay, something like that. Okay, I always give myself a little hint as to what I just did. Um, just in case I have to go back for whatever reason. Something bad happens, I miss something. Um, <clears throat> so that's good. And now I want to texture this. So I've already gone in and I hit polygons and I did the UV snapshot. I'm just going to pause for a second. Okay, I just realized something that I was smoking crack and I did the, actually, the Maya IFF. I have to go back here to Maya for a second. I was just loading that up into Photoshop, and I realized, oh, you idiot, what did you do? IFF, switch that to, say, I'd go a Targa or a PNG. Um, the IFF sometimes doesn't open up in Photoshop, so let's hit OK, and we'll do this again. And I'll try dropping that in again, and this one here is an OV. Okay, I didn't ask you to do that. I asked it to go into Photoshop. There. Good. Enter. Good enough. And this one here, we'll save it as a target later. Uh, I'm just going to take this and I'll quickly right click, rasterize the layer, and I'll smash it down. Okay, good. I don't like the black and white thing, or the, the I don't like the black being the background, so I'll just go here to uh, Image Adjustments, Invert, the hotkey is Control I, and I can go into Filter, Other, and use minimum, and I can make the lines just a bit thicker and darker, so I can see them easily. Okay, and then an evil thing I do is I make a duplicate. I take this duplicate layer, and I invert it, so control I, I'll invert it. Hold on a second, not, not invert it. What the hell am I talking about? I go in here, and then I do darken. If I have darken on, then I can see through the white, okay. So I'm just going to quickly find some kind of image I want to put in here. Okay, so let's find a nice picture like this. Got a nice picture. Uh, and let's see, can I make that bigger? Uh, I meant to do it like this. Uh, what view image? Nice and big. Okay, save image as. Actually, is there a way to do this? No, no. Got to save the image, and we'll throw this in here. <clears throat> and I'll just kind of quickly go zipping over here. And where the hell am I? Dump that in here. Maybe. Okay, good. That's not too big. And I'm just going to make that slightly smaller. Enter. And I'll do something stupid like uh, come in. Do, 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 do. Well, it's not rasterized. Okay, control X. And I can spend some time cleaning this up and making something funny. Let's just go in and get my brush, make it smaller, make this a bit bigger. That's too faded. I just gotta go down here and get a harder brush. Okay, harder eraser. And I'll make something better later. Anyway, and control T will right click and I'll just there. Okay, maybe I'll make that a bit smaller. And <clears throat> I can repeat this pattern over and over again. Here, I'm just going to move it. <laughs> and if I hold down on my keyboard, Control and Alt, and I could put some nice background texture on this too. Okay, great. And if I cut the UVs a bit better, I could probably put this right on the butt, but I'm not going to get too excited. Anyway, you're seeing that all happen, and then I can, up here, I'll hit Control e a bunch of times. That'll merge my layers down, except I don't want to, want to go too far. Here, this is the idea of uh, putting the... Uh, you can barely see this off on the side here. You can see the layer copy, though, um, <clears throat> so that I can see over top. And then maybe I'll hide that. I can put some kind of uh, other pattern 
behind his head. Uh, let's just go and grab something really fast. I'll pause. Okay, so I got some image back here, and again, I'm going to right-click and I'll rasterize it. And I can do my little tricks here. If I hold down uh, Control-Alt-Shift, I can... Oh, you bastard! There we go, move it. And I'll just kind of... Some stupid pattern behind him so that this will look kind of like, potentially like some kind of material. Great. And Control-E, Control-E, Control-E. Control-Alt and Shift, and it'll move it in a straight line. And hopefully this is potentially entertaining. There. Boop. Actually, that one. I could probably go in here. I don't know if I want to get too fussy about this, but there. And getting rid of that weird seam there. And what about this one? Anyone going to notice that? You can barely notice that problem. And maybe on this one here. No, it's on the other one. I'll move this over this way, and then I can erase that out of here. And I can move the UVs around afterwards in Maya if I really need to as well. So I'll move this here. Okay, no one's going to notice my problems there. Okay, good enough. And I'll just hide this, and then I'll just quickly uh, go ahead and save this file. Save as, and when I save it, um, I'm going to save it as a target file. And this one here is going to images. I'm going to put it into source images. And pj underscore color. Okay, anything else you want to say about it? No. Save, and I'll save it as a 24-bit, so I don't get any weird alpha channel action. And now I can go zipping back to Maya. And in Maya, um, got this thing. Um, let's see, and I mirrored it already. Okay, cool. So if I right click and I go assign a material, I'm going to assign a V ray material. If you don't see the V ray right away, one of two things we I can go here to V ray material. If you don't have V ray on, you got to go into Windows and Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager. And in the plugin manager, you're looking for, uh, there's V-Ray down here near the bottom. So you drag down and you'll find it down near the bottom. And you got to be at the school, really, to make this work. Okay, great. Close. And um, then, Alt-Shift-D, go ahead. Alt-Shift-D, get rid of the history so I can find my V-Ray material. And yeah, let's drag this down. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go to the diffuse color. And I'm going to pop on a file texture, and I go browsing for it, and there's my PJ color. Boop. I don't see anything here right away until I press 6, and that's good enough for now. Okay, and um, let's just go and make that bigger, so we're good with the texture now. Uh, and we got the V-Ray material on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rig this up. And what do we got? We're at the 8 minute mark. Um, I think I am going to uh, make another video where I rig it. Or Let's do it. I'm going to put it into this video too. So if I get the two panels up, I'm just going to switch this to the side view. I want to be in the side view when I'm doing this. I don't want to be in the front view. I'm just going to go from modeling into rigging. And I'm going to go to skeleton. I'm going to get create joints. And I'm going to click a joint here, and I can't see it. There's a little button right here for X-ray joint, so I can see it. If it's too small, remember under display, animation, joint size, you can change the size of it. And there's where my hip is going. I'm just going to go into wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. I want it slightly above the crotch. Okay, and I'm going to put it in the knee and the ankle. And I'm going to hit enter. And if I'm looking at this one through the front view, and let's go ahead and put this here. I'm going to grab the hip, hip joint. I'll move it over this way. This is a good time to name everything. So this one here is going to be called hip. Uh oh. Hip. Okay, great. And this is going to be my knee. And that's going to be my ankle. Okay, and this one here, I'll call that the pelvis. Okay, and if I grab the hip, 
I can go here to modify and I'll use prefix hierarchy names. I'm going to put capital L underscore. And if I was looking in the hypergraph, I would see pelvis, L hip, L knee, L ankle. And now if I go zipping over to skeleton and I go to mirror joints and I switch mirror across YZ and I search for capital L underscore and I replace it with capital R underscore. And I hit mirror and I got joints on the other side. And here I'll just hit five so you can see that. Okay, so that's working. And I could do a better job, but that's good enough for now. Um, <clears throat> and now um, I could grab the joints and I'll grab this mesh. And by the way, I should change the name of that and I'll call it like pants underscore geo or something like that so you know what it is. Grab the joint, grab the pants. I go here to skin, bind skin. And I'm going to make sure this is on the default settings. Bind skin. Okay. And um, now I'm going to zip in some IK handles. So under skeleton, create IK handles. Uh, sticky, rotate plane solver. Okay, great. Um, that should be fine. And I'll put in one from this hip to this ankle. And I'm just going to do that again. Okay, hip, ankle. So now I got two IK handles, and I might name those. So this is going to be my L underscore IK. Good enough. And this one here will be my right underscore IK. <clears throat> okay, and now I should be able to do stuff like this. Okay, if I can't, that means I missed putting on sticky. Um, then, uh, let's just put these things, these pants, onto a layer. I'm going to hide them for a moment. And I'm going to go in and create uh, a couple of controllers. Oh, what's going on? Cannot convert data type. Okay, there's something weird on my bottom there. Okay, I'm going to go to NURBS. I'm going to create a circle. And I'll take this one here, and I'm going to uh, snap it. Oop there and I'll make it bigger okay and that's going to be my upper body control I'll make a duplicate and I'm going to scale that down and I'm just going to go and move that down to here make another duplicate and I'll move that over here okay so I got these nerve circles and by the way if you're looking at my hypergraph remember options display shape hidden underworld nodes is all on okay and so this is going to be my upper body control and I'm going to delete the history on it Alt shift D and I'm going to modify freeze transformations this one here that's going to be my left foot control <clears throat> and I'm just going to go modify freeze transformations and that one there is going to be my right foot Okay, control, and I spell it wrong. I did something wrong here. Okay, good enough, and modify for use transformations. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, I might want one more control. I'm just going to go here to uh, create, and if I go in here to the CV curves, I might go to, say, the EP curve tool, and I'll put this on one linear. And I can make one more control. I don't know how necessary it's going to be for what we're doing, but if I hold down X while I'm drawing, I kind of go in here and I do something like this. I can quickly draw out the shape. Okay, and we're almost there. And it looks something like that. There. And I'm going to call that my God control. Okay, good enough. And I might scale this up. And when I scale it up, I'm just going to go ahead and modify freeze transformations. Done. Okay, so there's all my controls. And uh, I've got maybe one more little control I'm going to make. Actually, let's put these all together first. So I grab this, and if I grab that joint, and I go here to constrain, I'm going to put a parent constraint on it. 
I'm going to grab this controller and grab that IK handle, and I'm also going to put a parent constraint on it. And I'll grab this control, that IK handle, constraint, parent. Okay, so those are those all have parent constraints on them, or the IKs ha have parent constraints, and this joint has a parent constraint. You don't see any parent constraints hanging off my controls. Uh, these controls here, I'll take the upper body, I'm going to parent that to the god control. I just middle clicked and dragged. I take these two, middle click and drag. Boop. They are parented to the god control. Wherever I move the god control, um, they will follow. Um, these two IK handles, I might just hide them. I am going to hit control H on my keyboard for now. Um, and the controller, I should check and make sure it works. La 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 la. Okay, they seem to work. I just realized one other thing, I should bring these back. If I right click, I can hit show, show, and they both come back. I forgot one thing on the knees. I'm going to go and I'm going to create a locator. And this locator, let's just snap it to the knee, and then I'll just pull it forward here. And I'll make a duplicate, control D, and I'm going to pop that over there. Okay, and I can name these, always name them. This is going to be L knee control. Okay, L knee control, and this one will be R knee control. Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, if I select this locator, grab that IK handle, and I do a constraint, I'm going to do a pull vector constraint. Grab that locator, grab that IK handle, constraint, pull vector. Boop, done. And. Oh, does it look like I missed? It looks like I missed. I'm just going to go back and do it again. There, I got it. Okay, good. And if I take these two locators, I don't really need to see them really, but I do need them to follow the god control around, and I can hide them. Hide the IK handles now. Okay, those are hidden. I don't even need to see my joints anymore. Well, I might need to see them for what I'm going to do. Um, and we're at the 17 minute mark. Uh, <clears throat> the last thing I need to do, and probably I should save, I'll save as, and we'll do walking PJs, we'll do version number two, and that'll be underscore rigged. Okay. Um, the last thing I want to do is uh, just do a little bit of waiting. So I'm going to bring back my pants here. And if I do some tests here, if I, oh, don't grab the joints. Pull the pants down to say something like this. And I want to look behind here around the knees in particular. Okay, I can even grab this control. Pull this out and see how it looks. Okay, I'm going to grab this leg. And, uh, or I'm going to grab the geometry. And if I go into skin, I can go into the paint skin weights tool. And let's just take a look here at the left knee. And maybe I'll go down here and I'm going to turn on the color ramp. And if I've got on add, okay, I should be able to go in here and add weight to this, and it's going to turn white. Okay, and maybe behind the knees, you'll see that kind of gives me a stiffer, nicer volume. I've got other tricks for this, but this is because uh, I'm doing this really, really simple because this is your first time doing this, I think. Okay, so there's knee, and then I'll go up to the hip, and I'll maybe make sure that behind the knee on the hip, that's weighted 100% to the hip joint, or the thigh area. Okay, and this middle part can be kind of uh, mixed colors here, and that should be fine. Uh, maybe this area up near the top here, I'm going to make sure that's weighted 100% here. In this area, so it keeps that relatively stiff and doesn't get too funny. I'm going to call that relatively good now. Okay, and I realized I forgot that I probably needed another couple of edge loops in here. Maybe I forgot that, you know, I could have used more geometry here or something like that. Um, if I realize I do need more geometry, if I do something like grab this edge and I go edge ring and split, and I do the same thing over here, um, I got a problem. Uh, because I've got history over here now, but if I go to edit, delete by type, 
non-deformer history, it preserves my skin cluster and tweak node and everything's good. And I can go back and I can paint skin weight still. So I can come in here and do my little skin weighting for my pelvis area. And I'll call that good and it'll hold my shape a little bit better. Okay, cool. And <clears throat> then, 20 minute mark, okay. I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna zero that back out because I froze the transformation, so that's gonna put it back into its natural position. And I'll do the same thing with this thing here. Enter. And then I'm just gonna take the pants and I'm gonna go to skin and there's mirror skin weights. I did one side of it. I was on the positive side. So I'm gonna do YZ positive mirror. Boop. And now both sides should be the same. I take a look behind the knees. The knees are looking better. Okay, great. Okay, and I'm going to call this done, and I'm going to try and animate and render all in one next movie.